Sometimes we want to let that emotional brain right. take over. And other times, as you put it, we want to use our, our cold brain, our mm -hmm. rational brain. And so the way to do that, and I found this in my own research lab, is to introduce a little bit of stress. And what stress does is it overloads our amygdala, our emotional brain, and it shifts it to our front of our brain, our rational brain. And we can do this two ways, which is what I reported in my uh, research. One is to stick your hand in a bucket of ice just for one minute. And what it does is it's called a cold press stressor task in the literature. Okay. And it actually overwhelms our emotional brain. Our emotional brain is so busy thinking, this is cold. This is cold. <laughs> exactly. How long do I have to do right. this? But what it does is it changes our circuit. It then changes our decision making to the front of the brain. Mm -hmm. So when your hand is in that bucket of ice, make that decision. Do I want to move? Do I want to accept this job offer? What do I want to do about this relationship? It's a good opportunity to let your rational or your cold brain take control. If you're not a fan of ice, the second strategy that I found in my lab is to use cognitive stress. Count backwards by sevens from 100. Ooh. A little bit more challenging, <laughs> exactly. I, uh, I, get I guess that. I'll be using the ice bucket <laughs> technique. <laughs> but that's another way. So if you don't have access to ice or if you're in a public space mm -hmm. and you're really thinking, I got to dial down my emotional brain, right. I really need to be rational right now, 100, 93, and so on. Yes. And counting backwards from sevens, from sixes, not fives, it's too easy. Yes. But introducing that bit of stress, again, shifts that circuit of decision-making to that front of your brain, your rational brain. Yeah.